Hello fellow freedom seekers, we are getting ready for the new season, spring is just around the corner and many of you have been booking pitches on campsites and in holiday parks and many of you have been asking us how do I use electricity on a campsite, how many watts can I use on a campsite, how many appliances can I use at the same time on a campsite. It is a tricky subject and I'm going to give you some advice today. Those of you who have been camping in the UK, you know that this uh, lead will be of no use to you on a campsite. Uh, and also there are some limitations, to, so to avoid nasty surprises when you are camping with your family, please stay tuned. I will also share a funny story about a massive power cut uh, which was created by our customers here last summer and what were the reasons for this power cut. So there will be a funny story towards the end of this video. So if you are interested in how electric hookup works on a campsite, if you want to know what appliances and how many appliances it is worth taking with you, stay tuned. These days most campsites offer pitches with EHU electric hookup and that's it. Pay attention to the plug and to the socket. It's not what you use at home. So not this type of a lead, not this plug. Round like that and be aware and be prepared because if you turn up to a campsite uh, and you only have this uh, lead, this type of plug, and maybe you're in a tent, you will have a nasty surprise because you will not connect to EHU on your pitch. Of course, campsites sell and rent uh, campsite power leads, but being unprepared costs quite a lot of money. So just bear it in your mind. Also, another thing to remember, which is super important, the allowance which you have the value of power you can use on a campsite it is much smaller to what you have at home there is no issue with voltage because it is the same like at home like in a standard home in the uk between 220 to 240 volts but your domestic supply has a rate of 80 to 100 amps and when you arrive on a campsite you only get between 10 to 16 amps and to calculate the number of watts you can use at any given time you have to multiply the value of volts per amps which means that when you're on a campsite you can use about a tenth of what you can comfortably use at home because you have instead of 100 amps you only have between 10 older campsites only offer 10 amps to 16 amps on newer sites like this one we are lucky here because uh, the electric electricity supplied here has the rate of 16 amps and that's quite generous but even with 16 amps of electric our customers managed to trip the whole supply last year we had the power cut in the middle of the summer but i will tell you more about it towards the end of this video if you are our regular viewer you know very well that this is my home for the most of the year uh, together with my husband i work as campsite supervisor on a site in north devon and we uh, live on the site and, and work here for most of the year and we live on site for most of the year in this caravan so we had to learn very quickly and I learned hard way that I cannot use as many appliances at the same time as I want so this was a lesson learned very quickly so what is our allowance here how many watts we can use on this site as i said earlier this site is very generous and offers a supply at the rate of 16 amps however each caravan has its own circuit breaker to make sure installation is not overload um, and our circuit uh, allows maximum of 13 amps so it's much less than what we could draw from the power installation on the side and 230 volts times 13 amps gives us 2990 watts so less than 3 kilowatts at the same time so you can have many appliances the, the trick is to not power all of them at the same time so we could use at any given time less than 3 kilowatts 
three kilowatts is the maximum. What happens if we overload it? Well, two things could happen. Whenever I forget that I'm in a caravan and not at home, and it still happens even after all these years, this fuse will trip and disconnect the power supply and we'll have a power cut in a caravan. It happens all the time and it's not the end of the world if you trip the switch and you have a power cut. What you have to do is just come outside and put it back on, uh, move the fuse in power on position. There is another fuse which you have in your caravan so if that's not working if this fuse is in the right position and you still don't have power in your caravan, check the fuse inside because you have another fuse there. So maybe it's the fuse inside that's tripped. In general, you don't want to overload your installation, your circuit in the caravan. So it's not a good idea to keep tripping your electrics all the time because that means your installation is wearing out. It is getting used up and in a way it's getting weaker and weaker each time you trip your electricity and the fuse inside has to you know act and turn off the power supply so in general you want to avoid it if it happens it's not the end of the world but pay attention to how many appliances you use at the same time and as i said earlier it's not good news for those who like tea and toast for breakfast. When it comes to tripping electricity on the campsites, this is the biggest offender, a kettle. And many guests make a mistake of bringing their domestic kettle with them. This is a camping kettle. This is a low uh, wattage camping kettle. And maybe you were thinking of buying one and you were not sure because they are generally smaller. Uh, they are more expensive than ordinary kettles but they have one big advantage. They use much less power. So this one liter kettle takes only 700 watts. It will take longer to boil your water, but I challenge you, go and check how many watts uses your domestic kettle. I am sure it's over two kilowatts. So I said earlier that we can use maximum three kilowatts on this side at any given time, which means running a domestic kettle and a domestic toaster, which again takes anything between one to two kilowatts, running those two together, so making your tea and toast at the same time will trip electricity on the campsite for sure. So here are two appliances which couldn't be run together on a campsite. They couldn't be used together because this one takes two kilowatts and this one also, and we can use maximum three kilowatts, even less than three kilowatts of power. So there is no heating and no drying hair at the same time. So I hope this video answered your questions about using electricity on a campsite. If you still have some questions, please let me know in the comments, ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer them quickly. And here is the juicy story about our guests and tripping electricity. During last football championships, when England scored a goal, everyone who was watching a match in their caravans here, the site was full, and the minute the goal was scored, everyone got up and put the kettle on. So imagine a few hundred people putting their kettles on uh, drawing a lot of power at the same time. What happened as a result? We had the power cut on site and the power just went off and they couldn't watch a match. It was sorted very quickly, but it's just a funny story of what happens when uh, people use a lot of electricity at the same time in, the exact, in exactly the same moment. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done it yet, please uh, subscribe. If you would like to know more about my caravaning lifestyle, about living and working on the caravan inside, uh, ask me a question. Uh, probably there is a video about this already. If not, we'll make a new one because we would like to share this lifestyle with you. We would like to add, uh, give you a bit of courage to those of you who are thinking about taking a leap, taking a jump into this lifestyle and living in a caravan, uh, moving out from your house. And you know, starting a new chapter. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your camping trips. Uh, remember to take the right lead. And I hope uh, that you will be prepared and you will have the right kettle with you. Enjoy your tea and toast on the campsite. Bye-bye.